I've been associated with the ECMA program since 2002, almost 10 years, and have had over 100 candidates go through the program. And what it comes back to is typically they name three things that are key benefits to the program. One is the other candidates themselves. They get a network of learning that takes place and they're able to build on that knowledge of that unique group that they're part of. Number two is the content itself. The content of the program involves leading edge material uh, through their notes and through articles such as HBR, MIT Sloan, and so forth. And the third aspect is the presenters. The presenters have deep knowledge that they're able to impart and share with the candidates and they're able to gain a better understanding of those key concepts that are taking place within the executive CMA program. It is three modules. The first module involves strategic management, risk management, and governance. The second module involves performance management and performance measurement. And the third module involves uh, financial risk management as well as financial reporting. So within the executive CMA program, we are covering off the main competencies of the CMA competency map. There is pre-work that is done, there's in-session work, and then there's post-session work. So it is as follows. Pre-work in advance of the interactive weekend session is that can candidates on their own will do some readings as far as their notes and articles go. They'll also read a comprehensive case and work with their team members on developing some initial ideas about that case. The second component, the actual interactive weekend session, involves a number of presentations, teamwork, different assignments, as well as working and discussing that comprehensive case. The third component, the post-session aspect, involves a written submission done by a team on the comprehensive case for that module. So the three components are some pre-work, the in-session work, and then post-session work. One is individual preparation doing the readings, reading the cases, being prepared for that weekend session. Number two is the team dynamics that take place. The application phase is fully assessed on a team base and being able to work effectively as a team is critical. And lastly is the CMA has a strategic process to solving cases. The teams need to follow that process in order to be successful on the final case.